Welcome back to Quiz Night. And remember, you can always tweet along with us here at Leak Quiz Night. Uh, we're all across the latest technology. Uh, I just want to check if any tweets are coming in. <laughs> oh, we got one. Show is lame, host is a cuck. My dear darling mother. Alrighty. Um, now, Kirsty, I, 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 you are from Canberra, is that correct? Originally. Well, yeah. We're, I don't think we need to tell everyone, but yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we'll keep it on the down low. Uh, but it, now, so is this true in the recent marriage survey? They actually, in Canberra, recorded the highest uh, percentage of yes votes. They did. Do you think people in Canberra were just happy to have something to do? <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Well, yeah, it, oh, yeah, it is. Probably true, though. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it a, a, do you enjoy getting back there? Is it a nice place to, to be? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Like, it's got loads going on there now. It's, um, yeah, it's got two cafes. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, there you go. The postal survey is over. Uh, and with Malcolm Turnbull promising marriage equality by Christmas, it's time to play Corey Bernardi's Slippery Slope. <laughs> For those unfamiliar with the rules, I'll be asking a series of questions and for every right answer, or any answer, Corey will take another slide down the slippery slope. <laughs> He's almost at the top there. Uh, contestants, hands on buzzers. Here we go. Corey Bernardi has described same-sex marriage as what? Yes, Kirsty. Gross. <laughs> it was probably on his mind. Pat? Hot. <laughs> but we're talking about Corey, not you. <laughs> All right. The answer I was looking for, a rainbow Trojan horse is how he described it. That means he's going down the slippery slope. Here he goes. <laughs> oh. The frames per second on that thing is incredible. <laughs> All right, here we go. Instead of marriage, no campaigner Sophie York wants same-sex marriage to be called what? Yes, Pat? You're two men or two women, not like my beautiful husband and me. That's gross, icky. Ooh, I said good day. <laughs> Again, probably on her mind. I am looking for something different. There are actually three answers. Yes, Kirsty. Ga garage. Garage, yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's one of the answers I was looking for. There were three answers. Garage was absolutely one. Unism and pairage. Pairage was another one. Uh, but you know what? Correct answer. So, Miss Corey Bernardi, you're going one step down. Your slippery slope. Oh! Oh, heavens, that could end badly for him. Well, let's ensure it does. Liberal MP Kevin Andrews likens same-sex relationships to what? Yes, Kirsty. Um, the... Uh, friendships or bonds you make with your cycling partners. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Which is great for Kirsty, but terrible for Corey. Here he goes. Oh! Yeah. Senator Erica Betts thinks the same-sex marriage bill will encourage people to marry what Australian landmark? Yes, Pat. Bronwyn Bishop. <laughs> Terrible thought. I feel like I should take away points for that. Uh, I feel like you should take away points. Um, yes, was that Emily? That was me. Uh, emus and kangaroos, the animals on a, on a thingamajig because they are unable to take any steps backwards. <laughs> forwards we go. And forwards we do go. Mr. Bernardi, you're heading Wait, down there. Wait, was that the... the right answer? That wasn't the right answer. <laughs> Sid... Wow. <laughs> I mean, he's had some wacky ideas. <laughs> the correct answer I was looking for is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. But I'm going to take your answer, Amberly, <laughs> and I'm going to send Corey down the slope with it. Oh, no. Oh, so he's landed safely. Do we have room for one more question? Let's see what happens. Watch this footage of Christian lobbyist Lyle Shelton, commentators Mark Latham and Miranda Devine. Question to follow. So won the debate. Mark Latham definitely <laughs> came off the worst for wear, wear, I should say. You know what? We don't even need the question. Let's see it again. <laughs> so good. It's the best. And that's the end of the round, which means we're sending Corey all the way to the bottom of his slippery slope. <laughs> 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 
happy ending. At the end of the round, the winner is Human Rights, and the loser is still Mark Latham. <laughs> We're going to be right back over the break. We're going to play more Quiz Night after this.